The following is a presentation of WWE's Smack Down Your Vote and Cable in the Classroom. The 2010 midterm election is one of the most important in our nation's history, with control of both houses of Congress at stake. One of the most critical issues being discussed is education. Some argue that the key to education reform is greater accountability from teachers, schools, districts, and states, while others press for national standards. Some emphasize the importance of greater financial and professional support and making our educational system more effective. Others call for charter schools, curriculum revision, and local control as solutions. We spoke to some young adults to find out where they stand on this issue. Here is what the Republicans had to say. I personally don't believe that high schools are preparing um, students for 21st century success, and I just take this from my own personal experience. I don't think high school is hard enough. I went to a public high school. We had about 5,000 kids in my high school, and I didn't study one day of high school. I was in all AP and honors classes. Clearly, I'm at Marist College, which is a very competitive school, and I can honestly say I didn't study one day in my life, and I was able to graduate in National Honor Society, high honors. Uh, it's just too easy to graduate, and Although it worked out for me, I don't think it prepared me for what I'm dealing with now in college because I'm struggling with the workload now because I never had to really buckle down and study in high school. I think we need to look and reevaluate our school system from top to bottom. Most kids don't go to college, contrary to popular belief. And we need to help those that are getting out of high school and looking for jobs, looking their careers, looking for the rest of their lives. And we need to, we need to see what the high schools are doing to prepare them for that. I think that the high schools right now are preparing them for state tests for national tests, for assessments, for ELAs, for regents, for AP tests. I think we need to go away from that model and start evaluating what they need to do in regards to living their lives. Here is what the Democrats had to say. I believe that in some instances high schools are preparing students for 21st century success and in some instances they aren't. Um, in terms of curriculum, I believe that the United States is far behind in comparison with the world on science and math and I would like to see more government funding allocated towards those two programs and, and also I think that it would be in the best interests of schools if they would develop a, a type of program which would be geared towards career exploration that way once you're a senior in high school and you graduate you have a better knowledge of what you want to do with your life. I think that the government should certainly fund school districts. However, I think they need to have a more laissez-faire approach in how they deal with education. When I was a senior in high school, I ran for the Board of Education in the New Paltz Central School District, and I was successful in my run. So I know a lot about how school budgets work and everything, and the large reason why education continues to go up in cost is because of unfunded mandates that the state does hand down. And that varies states to state, but that really is why education seems to go up as much as it is. So I do think that there is a point where education needs to be handled more by educators opposed to the government, but it still does need to be funded by the government. No matter what your position may be on the issues, if you and your friends and family want your voices heard, you need to smack down your vote on Election Day, Tuesday, November 2nd.